So we just had a crazy, crazy reveal. The next LR coming for the Tanabata celebration on JP Dokkan is going to be UI Sign Goku that transforms into UI Goku from the final fight against Shiren. Now I want to say, if you watched my video earlier predicting this guy, I called it word for word out. <laughs> that was pretty good, but we're going to go into the breakdown of this guy now. Firstly, I want to say, in terms of global, I don't know when this is going to happen. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, global is kind of in weird shenanigans. You guys have anniversary in like a week. I, I just... One, one day this guy will be on global. <laughs> this is the best I can give you, unfortunately. But let's hop right in here. We also do have a banner unit dispo. Uh, this guy is also tacked, by the way, with the domain and everything. So let's take a look here at Goresh's translations for the Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and banner unit dispo. I heard this guy is really good. I heard this guy has very, very strong mechanics as well. Uh, let's take a look at his stats here. 17.7k HP, 15.8k attack, and then 8.9k defense as attacking it. Okay, you know, pretty decent stats. I do like the stats overall. Um, just over 20k stats for the HP and attack. I think it's about, what, 22k? Or almost 23k for HP right there. Attack stat is going to be well over, like, up, up closing into 21k, and then... I think the defensive stat actually is pretty decent. 13k defense, not bad at all. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's see here what this guy is doing. So, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku Limit Breaking Godly Power, Universe Survival Saga Realm of Gods or Trust to Will Category Key Three and One Seventy Percent to Stats. Then an additional thirty percent HP attack and defense for characters who also belong to the representatives of Universe Seven accelerated battle or powerful comeback category now we do have this built up here someone did give me this link earlier and this is everyone that's on his 200 percent portion of the leader school specifically so i mean in terms of like let's say top 10 lrs in the game you have the gammas blue gogeta uh hey joe ui goku we have a blue evolution vegeta blue kalkin goku and evolution vegeta uh, you know, Esther Yoi Goku is like top 15, I would say. LR Ultimate Gohan is like top 20 range, probably. This character did get an easy A. We'll have a separate video out for their easy details. This seems to be a pretty good easy, though, for the Universe 17. I think that that will work out pretty well. In terms of TURs, not really a lot of good TURs here besides Kefla, really. Uh, just taking a look down here, and a lot of these characters just aren't really going to be great. Now, I think I could remove these categories. And if I'm not mistaken, we probably get, like, all the characters that are on the leader skill. So, like, for example, I guess it's not really showing here. I wonder if I could... Let, let, let me, let me, let me go ahead and do this real quick. So, again, if we select Universe Survival Saga, I think it's, um, Entrusted Will. And then the last one is... Realm of God. So we'll do Realm of Gods is the last one. And I think. No, it does not. Let me search for. Okay. But uh, Beast Gohan is also under this leader skill under the Entrusted Will portion. You know, there's a lot of good Realm of Gods characters as well. So uh, I think overall, it's a pretty good leader skill. And a decent amount of the really strong characters on this 30% HP extra buff. Again, Beast Gohan's not under the full 200%, but that doesn't really matter. So. The entrance animation is everyone, you know, talking to Goku, giving Goku, like, you know, kind of kind of like Vegeta giving his energy to Goku and everything like that, which makes a lot of sense for the Tanabata character, which is why I expected this guy. So, 12 key super attack, raises attack for the turn, greatly raises defense for the turn, causes colossal damage, and raises allies' attack by 30% for one turn. 18 key super attack, greatly raises attack for the turn, raises defense for the turn, so that's a 50% attack raise and a 30% defense raise. Causes mega colossal damage and then raises allies defense by 30% for the turn. So I do like that. Like the defense race. Nice little support buff. We will definitely take that. The passive skill. One. The true last chance right here. Activates the entrance animation upon entry. When there's at least one other universe survival saga category ally on the team. Then for 7 turns he gains key 4 and 77% attack and defense. Then an additional 77% attack and defense for 4 turns. 
Key plus seven and 200% attack at the start of turn. Okay, dude, that's so much key. So that's a, uh, yeah, it's 11 key at the start of turn. Plus six key from the leader skill. So he's at 18 key without even counting key links. So he just lives at 24 key, basically. Okay. Great chance to dodge, as expected. Great chance to crit. Okay, well, I'll take that too. 15% damage reduction. And then reduces damage received by an additional 35% until he receives an attack. Okay, so what happens with that then is he has 50% damage reduction. Then after he receives an attack, he gains or he loses 35% of that and goes down to 15. So it's 50% for the first attack he receives. Then after receiving an attack, he gets guard against all attacks during the turn. Wow, okay. So after he takes that first attack for 50% damage reduction, he ends up guarding with 15% reduction instead. I feel like in certain situations, the guard plus 15% reduction might be better, actually, which is really funny because 50% is such a big, like, I would say a relatively big number. It's not a crazy number at this point, but guard is a really good mechanic to mix with damage reduction. Maybe if there was more AGL bosses, but there's not really a lot of AGL bosses and having guard is pretty big, right? If you're type neutral, I think it, it makes a pretty big difference. Plus the reduction, right? I think like he would eat, uh, let me turn this off. He would, <laughs> he would eat the super attack from what's it called? Like blue Gogeta a lot better than if he would actually eat the super attack without the uh, guard, right? What, I guess I'm trying to explain better, but you guys get the point. Uh, I think with the guard and 15% reduction, you might be a little tankier, potentially. Performs an additional super attack after evading an enemy's attack during the turn, which is, again, also easy. This guy's going to be your, a slot one character. Performs an additional attack that has a great chance to be a super attack as the second or third attacker. Okay, so even if he's not in slot one, he still has his additional that has a great chance to be a super right which is actually really good um obviously in slot one he's gonna most likely dodge a super attack or dodge an attack to get the guaranteed additional super but worst case scenario you could always get this which is useful as well especially if this guy is you know you get both ui goku leaders in the same rotation right i think that'd be very helpful okay so the active skill awakens and activates domain shining world of the void and all superclass allies gain key four for three turns this is able to be used from the fifth turn from first appearance very unfortunate i would say fifth turn from first appearance is uh, it's kind of difficult to get off i think you know especially if you're running other domain characters now there's not really a lot of great superclass domain characters lr future gohan uh, there's a free to play in trunks which you're not using but lr future gohan decently aged but i would say this guy is definitely better than lr future gohan and you're going to use them on a lot of different teams it's just that you know certain events and certain situations like if you get this guy in slot seven you're not going to be able to use this if you're running double ui goku as a leader you're not going to get both of the ui gokus out unfortunately right because this is a active skill that activates and domain and it transforms this guy right so okay superclass allies and enemies get 15 percent attack and defense disables enemy evasion canceling effects then 15 percent attack for allies who also belong to rebel god so the thing about this guy is he is buffing superclass enemies by 15 percent attack and defense which could be an issue um because we're we know we're getting a new super battle spectacle there's the gogeta blue fights but like you know against um I don't know the movies red zone uh box rush against the cell max fight against kid boo against i guess like beers is a really tough fight as well some of these fights won't really matter but like in this new red zone and in the supreme battle spectacle that that will matter quite a bit right i think increasing the attack by 15 percent you'll see you, you definitely will see a difference there all right link set prepared for battle over in a flash got the power come by ha Turn amount of power, first battle legendary power, pretty much as expected. And then all these teams, I'm not even, I'm not going to redo all these teams. If you want to redo them yourself, you could pause the video, but uh, I'm not going to do these. 
All right, so here's the UI Goku when he's actually transformed. It seems like he has the same links. Okay, that's good. You could link potentially the uh, untransformed and the transformed one, I guess, as a rotation, though. That That's a good thing, right? For sure. Uh, super attack effects. Both of them greatly raise the attack and defense for the turn, but the eating key does do mega colossal damage. And all allies get 59% attack and defense for the turn. That's a that's quite a bit of defense, actually. 59% defense on the super attack effects for all allies. That does include himself, by the way. That, that's quite a lot, actually. Like, pretty much 60% defense, multiplicative support. And again, this guy is going to be your slot one character. So, Silver Sheened Ultra Instinct. That sounds kind of cool. 300% attack and defense on our turn. He gains 7 key and 59% attack. Then he guaranteed dodges all enemy attacks. And then all allies get a 10% chance to dodge for one turn. I mean, I would say... Like, obviously, guaranteed dodge is obscenely powerful. Giving all allies a 10% chance to dodge, that matters. From what I see, this is start of turn. So, what's going to happen there is... <laughs> yeah, he's going to be able to give, like, let's say... EGY Goku has a 77% chance to dodge. On that transform turn, he gets an 87% chance to dodge. Let's say S Serio Y Goku has an 84% chance to dodge on a full Universe 7 rotation. With this guy on rotation after he transforms, S Serio Y Goku would actually have a 94% chance to dodge. And that works with any other character. I don't know. Herudagarn doesn't fit this team, but like let's say if you ran Herudagarn, Herudagarn would get an extra 10% chance to dodge. Let's say, I don't know, Rumble Gods, uh, God Goku. Uh, like, let's say you're running physical God Goku. 60% chance becomes 70. Like, uh, that helps, but I just don't think it's like, it's not crazy, but it's going to make these good evasion characters just even more consistent, which is nice. It's just a nice little thing there. Gain key three and chance perform a crit and chance to evade enemy attacks plus 20% per attack performed. That goes up to key 12. Chance from a crit and evade enemy attacks plus 77%. That's a lot of key. <laughs> uh, okay. Counters with tremendous power after evading an enemy's attack. And that's one thing I wanted to point out. Uh, so every single time he dodges, he counters, right? Uh, like as basically like an STR Super Vegito counter, kind of. I'm not going to say in terms of like the same power, but like it's countering normals. Actually, no, it also counters supers. So it counters normal attacks on supers as long as he dodges. And he gets up to a 77% chance to dodge. Now, he does have to dodge four times. But dodging four times in turn five as a slot one character with guaranteed dodge on that turn. Well, turn five, quote unquote, this guy's turn five specifically. It's basically at the end of the fight. When you get this off at the end of the fight, you are going to dodge four attacks. That's going to happen. And the next attack after, or the next turn after you'll have 77 percent dodge chance still anyways 20 percent reduction and then another 40 percent reduction until he receives an attack so he also just has 60 percent damage reduction then after that if he receives an attack he then guards against all attacks during the turn one thing i'm noticing though he doesn't have multiplicative buffs Right? He doesn't have, like, defense when evading. Okay. Gain additional 91% attack. Chance from a crit. And then 20% chance to dodge. If HP is 50% or below at the start of turn. Then performs a guaranteed additional super attack when keys 24. Okay. <laughs> so... He's really good. He's really, really, really good in Transforms DUI. I think he's absolutely obscene. Um, now, what I would say, I think a lot of people I've seen on the timeline, they're like, oh, you know, this guy's dethroning Beast Gohan. This is the best unit in the game. This guy's insane. I would actually say, based on details alone, to me, it feels like Beast Gohan is probably a better quote-unquote character because he has that team protection and you know you don't have to worry about like this kind of restriction turn five from first appearance that can be really annoying and you know this guy is buffing the enemy 
but the amount of damage this guy could potentially do is really nasty like he has counters against every attack and and he just like dodges supers it's just that thing of like beast go has like or even some max they're able to protect the entire rotation and they don't like have to transform they don't have to like you know build up or anything they're just well they kind of do have to build up but like you guys get the point where they're just like what they are doing at full power basically for the first three turns and then you know even after their passive kind of phases out a little they're still like really insane insanely good um while well, this guy i think at the end of the fight he definitely could have a higher peak there's just kind of some hoops you have to jump through with this guy and i think that in terms of individual performance at the end of events this guy might be better than those two it's just that he doesn't have like that team protector and i really i really do like that i think those team protector abilities are really shine but then it's like he doesn't really also if you theoretically think of him like did he need it no not necessarily it's like if we're gonna be like oh he has to be the best unit if, if we want him to be the best unit in the game you would have that ability but we have ui goku and blue evolution vegeta on each rotation both of them have revives you have beast gohan on the team he will have a target skill blue gogeta will have a target skill we don't need like extra characters to provide those abilities and this guy you know being doing what he's doing with the offense i think will be really good um so yeah i mean he'll definitely really burst through the end of the event with all those counters i think once he builds up all that crit that's going to be really nasty hidden potential what would i do for this guy's hidden potential system i'm thinking probably we'll go additionals i, th I think additional will be a good idea and then i guess what dodge are we gonna do on this guy i guess dodge would help i feel like crit like he has a great chance to crit here he builds up to 77 percent crit here I, I just don't think he needs crit maybe you can go like attack orb right I, I actually grush was talking about like oh maybe i'll go like the attack orb like the attack um in in terms of the skill orbs like the one that gives pure attack just because that'll buff directly into the counters and it'll help the counter damage quite a bit you know dude his counters after he supers like he's gonna get additional super so that's a hundred 109 percent attack 159 percent attack and then that could be 209 percent attack and the super attack effect right here if you triple supers with the crit counters that's gonna hit hard even without multiplicative stats this guy's counter is gonna do a lot of damage i'm telling y'all watch, watch out these counters are gonna go crazy but that is ui goku uh let me know what you guys think of this guy he seems absolutely insanely busted oh we have dispo we'll, we'll take a quick look at dispo here then we'll end the video raises defense for the turn extreme damage and raises attack for 11 turns sure 150 percent attack and defense 150 percent attack and defense on super after performing a super attack gain 150 percent defense until receiving an attack during the turn i guess you know that's multiplicative um as well performs an initial super attack no performs an initial attack that has a great chance to be super then if there is a universe 11 ally or all allies or turn rate participants he does another additional that has a great chance to be super high chance to dodge 11 percent chance to crit every time this character performs a super attack and 11 percent chance to evade enemy attacks during the turn so i guess Every time he supers, he gets 11% crit chance on dodge. What kind of sucks is the separate chance to dodge there. Um, I mean, eh. at least at least we got our dispo. Oh, then we have topo, and then we're gonna get probably all our in part two. Is what I'm anticipating. Dispo, I don't know. He's not really doing anything. He's he's kind of like I'm there. You know, he doesn't have crit. He has a dodge, but it's like a, it's like he has okay damage he has decent dodging he has you know it's like doing all these supers like you can build him full crit i guess but you want to put him full dodge like dodge crit build doesn't really need additionals i don't know uh well actually he has crit every time he supers but like it's like he gets uh, at max he's gonna have a 44 percent chance to crit and that's if those proc oh no you know you know what the crit chance builds up permanently so you don't need to crit in this guy because there's no limit here because 11 chance to crit every time he performs a super attack 
I would assume that actually is no limit because it's not like within the same turn. But the dodge is within the same turn. Oh, okay, okay. That's what that is. So you, he does not need crit. But I would, I'll probably see full dodge then. I mean, in that case, he's critting. He could tr quad super with guaranteed crit. Probably could do decent damage if he gets a lot of this active, right? Like, not bad damage. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to end the video here. Let me know what you guys think about UI Goku and the Dispo. I will catch you guys in the next video. We'll recover the Team Universe 7 details. Peace out.